Uh, I'm going to go out there and shoot a video that we're going to post on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com tonight uh, that is a call to action to protest the Federal Reserve itself. The actual real criminal banksters, not capitalism's bad and all of Wall Street and 30,000 companies are evil. Now, I had the Dallas Morning News and other publications contact us today and they're saying, so you're doing a nationwide thing at Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio. No. I am simply putting out the idea that, hey, instead of just going in, in, uh, to your financial district and, and griping at, at, at Wall Street, which has a lot of good companies on it that hire Americans and others, why not go to the big six mega banks masquerading as the Federal Reserve? They're the ones that actually set all this up. How about we actually go after the real problem? It's the Federal Reserve running George Soros and, and Buffett and others to get more bailout money. They want the austerity. They want to raise taxes, cut your benefits so more money can be paid to them. They're the ones using the European Union to fully destroy all sovereignty in Europe right now, holding them hostage. We just talked to a Goldman Sachs insider agreeing with my analysis. This is happening. So please get the word out to your Facebook, your Twitter, uh, your MySpace, everywhere. Call your friends and family. Tell them that we are going to start out occupying the Dallas Federal Reserve and the sidewalk around it this Friday. I will arrive after the radio show at 6 p.m. and I'll speak for about two hours. Then I will get in my RV, I will drive to the Federal Reserve. The big branch for Region 11 is in Dallas, but it's sub-reserve, it's an even bigger building, is in Houston and San Antonio. I'll be in Houston high noon uh, on Saturday, and then I'll be 10 a.m. to noon or so with people there at the San Antonio Federal Reserve. Now, no matter where you are, you're a majority of one. Get your friends, your family, your neighbors, go down, demonstrate, call the media, let them know you're going. Go down and demonstrate at your Federal Reserve, especially if you're around one of the big 12 ones or one of their substations, and let them know that you're aware of what they're doing. Now, with the Dallas situation, I've got to do the nightly news. I've got to, you know, as a general here who goes out on the front lines, but I've also got to be here in our command center and try to research all this, get it together. I've got to do the radio show. I've got to do the nightly news. And so what I'm going to do is if people do occupy the, the, the Dallas Fed, and if they stay there, and, and you could stay one day and then others will arrive. We'll be talking about it on air. They arrive on Sunday with your sleeping bags or whatever. If we keep that thing occupied for a week or so, it will become a big national story. And Sunday, I'm going to go to Dallas Friday. I'm going to turn around and go down to Houston, then uh, Saturday. Then Sunday, I'll be in San Antonio. Then I'm going to go back to Austin, regroup, do the two-hour radio show, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. And then if the occupation works... And who knows, it might spring up in San Francisco. Uh, it, might, it might pop up uh, at the uh, Fed uh, out in Lincoln, Nebraska. It might pop up at the one at Kansas City. It might be the one at St. Louis. It might be the one in Richmond. It might be, okay, wherever it happens, I will either get on a plane or get on our new InfoWars RV, and I will drive to that location and broadcast from there. Okay? So... I don't expect the place where I go is where this is going to happen. But wherever you're at, be part of history. Face down the real tyrants. Don't let the globalists come in with their counter-revolution, their false counter-revolution of communist and people calling to raise taxes on the middle class and transfer the money to bankers. Don't let them speak for you. The American people aren't just going to occupy Wall Street and attack capitalism. We're going to go after the crony capitalists who are the opposite of capitalists, the opposite of free market, the monopoly men. So the big one to be at, we're going to Houston and San Antonio because we know there's groups down there. We want to point out this is at every Federal Reserve location. But the big one, the one we're going after, and, and I had this in my gut when I said yesterday on air, I said, should we occupy the Dallas, the San Antonio, or the or the Houston. And last time I checked, 80 plus percent in the poll. In fact, guys, I know we're at the end of the show, but pull up Infowars.com, go to the bottom right hand corner and there's the uh, poll. Show people the poll over here on the camera and then click it. It was like 80 percent this morning when I looked of 3,000 votes or something total. Uh, want us to occupy the Dallas Fed. Yeah, there it is, close to 3,000 votes and it's 78 uh, percent. It was like 80 this morning. So close to 3,000 votes. 78% uh, want the Dallas Federal Reserve, Houston branch of Dallas Fed, San Antonio branch of Dallas Fed. Um, you can see that you got 2,314 want Dallas, 473 or 16% want Houston, 
and uh, H-Town and for S-Town. Uh, great town, by the way, my second favorite city in Texas after Austin. Um, we're going to be down there, and that's only 175 votes, won't that, or 6%. And we're going to close that poll out soon because I'm going to have Aaron put it in our press release. We need your help to get out to all of these events. And we need your help to get our press release, our articles about it, the video I'm going to shoot about it, this video as well. Get it out to everybody. Okay? Regardless of what you think, liberal, conservative, black, white, old, young, Hispanic, Asian, turquoise, purple, green, polka dotted, if you want freedom, these are the tyrants. There's no doubting that. Union people, non-union, it doesn't matter. Everybody isn't welcome. Everybody is essential. Everybody is absolutely commanded by liberty and the, and the essential survival of our republic to be there. And of course, everybody is welcome, but that's a side issue. You are commanded by conscience and basic common sense to be there Friday, 6 o'clock, and that's where everybody needs to go. If you're in Houston, you gotta, you've got to go to work on Saturday or Sunday or got kids, come out with them to the Houston event. Or if you're in San Antonio or other areas that can't come to the Dallas event, come to San Antonio. But if you can, and you're in any of the states around Texas, no excuse, Friday, 6 o'clock. And if you can't make it then, come the next day. You know, whenever we stormed the Texas Capitol two separate times and almost defeated the uh, TSA bill, and notice the resistance now is causing them to start to back off the White House is talking about abolishing it. Uh, you know, there's major heat. There's lawsuits. You will notice that I would go down there for about two hours at four, four, five, six o'clock. I'd leave, and then even bigger crowds came after and went into the rotunda and took over and shouted them down. That's what's going to happen here. All of you are just as important or more important than I am. I don't want you just standing behind me or beside me. I want you to stand in front. All of you are leaders. We've got to all stand together or hang separate. You are the leaders. We can beat these people. Their crimes are so outrageous. They're so ridiculous that if we just expose them, and we've got demands. I've covered those demands. We want the Federal Reserve abolished. We want the power of the purse transferred back to Congress. We want U.S. money to be created debt-free under the sovereignty of the nation, not backed up by the taxes of the people. It's just a symbol of, of, of commerce, not, 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 not the fiat creation that gives the globalists control of the whole planet. We want to see the banksters, for all their frauds, investigated, charged, and convicted, and imprisoned. And I covered all that on the radio. We're going after the New World Order. We want our republic back. We want 1776 worldwide. Now, the rest is up to you, Info Warriors. You need to be there and be part of history. We are going to occupy the Federal Reserve in Dallas and hopefully spur a movement that will spark political brush fires all over the United States. We will see you there Friday. And already I'm seeing other groups saying they're going to occupy the Federal Reserve now. And a lot of the Occupy Wall Street folks are going, yeah, it's the Federal Reserve. And uh, Dallas Morning News called me about a Dallas group uh, that's doing it. There's a bunch of exciting things happening. And we're going to do this together. Don't wish later you would have been part of this. Also, you support this alternative media beacon of liberty and freedom when you subscribe to PrisonPlanet.tv. You can also subscribe at InfoWarsNews.com. All my films, my book, Paul Watson's book, my daily radio slash TV show, this nightly news show that so much energy and work goes into with the incredible reports on the checkpoints, the fluoride, the vaccines. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. The breaking news here, everything we do. Uh, all of my films in super high quality, expanded extras, eight and a half years up and running. We're just adding more and more features. You are funding the 2011 version of the Pamphleteers and the Sons of Liberty in the lead up to 1776. 